Welcome to Silver High Seas, mateys. That's right. Soup thieves in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Man the cannon. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, right there, you walked right past it. Go down and get one. What juice is this? I don't know. Mystery Try it. juice. Try the mystery juice. I'm assuming it's okay to have because little kids have it. I assume. So this tea also? Tastes like water melon. with like a little bit of cantaloupe or something. It's like a melon. Yeah. Melon juice. Very good. It's, it's a good grog. grog to get you started on your pirate trip. <laughs> Ty, I want to still see after you drink that grog. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, pirate's life for me. chilled in the pool the next day we chilled in the pool <laughs> and now we're leaving and yeah the pool. we have spent so much pool time it's been amazing it's not enough pool time i mean who wouldn't want to just spend their time relaxing down there but that pirate cruise was something else it was awesome that's jake's favorite it's a memory that the kids will never <laughs> never like they may forget their math, their language They're arts, the but they will not curse. forget. I highly recommend it because it taught my children to not drink alcohol <laughs> because then they saw how people behaved. Anyway, the cruise was really funny because the pirate show was something. <laughs> it was just not what we expected it to be. It wasn't very piratey. It was weird. It was like, I felt like I was watching adults play like just make up stories and play like a pirate dress pirate up, dress up. <laughs> but the skit went all over the place there was no rhyme or rhythm there was to like it. a magician no a wizard a wizard or a sorcerer a wizard opening it was just very strange and 
Very little pirate music on that. No pirate. pirate ship. There was like one pirate song. And it was weird because it was a lot of American music and not even like no, music yeah. from Mexico. It's like just Spanish. like party in the USA. That's the kind <laughs> of stuff. And we weren't even was. in the USA. Yes, like, no. So it was very confusing. Like dinner cues. And the music was so loud that literally by the time we got back to the Our hotel, ears. my ears were hurting. They were throbbing. I don't normally so listen to music super loud, like, oh, so my so eardrums loud. just couldn't take it. And then we got it in our shuttle ride, and they played the music. <laughs> they played more party music. And we were in with drunk people. So, it was something, but relaxing by the pool the last few days has been wonderful, other than everybody got a little bit of sunburn. So now we're recovering, but today we get to go home and it's a short flight home and I'm excited to go home and check on my garden that I've been starting and see my dogs and just go up in the mountains. I'm kind of ready for a mountain, colder. Okay, that's fun for you. <laughs> I just am ready for a change, I think, but I will miss this. I, every morning I sit out here and I listen to these waves for an hour while everybody's kind of like just getting up and getting ready and it's just so peaceful because there's like nobody here it's just out here relaxing everybody's sleeping because you get up at like seven in the morning and the other thing i'm gonna miss is like waking up and just going to one of like six restaurants to go eat and i don't have to think about what i'm eating that day i don't have to repair anything and i don't have to clean up anything and <laughs> that's gonna be very very sad <laughs> That but, would be the tough part. It'll be like, oh, now we gotta make food again. But you know what? We can do it. We're gonna go home and we're gonna eat a lot of salad because I'm growing a lot of lettuce. Growing that in salad. <laughs> a lot of salads. And Jake's really happy about that. <laughs> Jake's right. trying to wake up. He's like, Ugh. We have to go do our COVID testing now to make sure we don't have COVID because if we do, I guess we're staying longer. 10 more days, baby! <laughs> Is this the time when you're like, I hope the test comes back wrong so that we can stay. I Not that I want COVID, but have the test wrong. I so much want to ride our range up in the mountains. So I've been like, for the last two days, I've been, that's all I can think about is just get home and ride our ranger. So I want it to pass and then, so we can get home. And yeah, hopefully it goes well. We'll do an update and then we've got to go get breakfast too. We haven't eaten this morning. We made it back from Cabo and we decided to go for a drive up the mountains. It's the next day and we've got our dogs, my me Benito Peros, <laughs> and we decided to take them up the mountains and go for a ride and then let them play up in the mountains. Maybe go for a little walk. But we're at the end of the trail. We went as far as we can go in our ATV. And this road goes in the mountains way, way further. So we went as far as we could and we're all alone up here. So we're just kind of chilling, having some snacks, letting the dogs play. Let me show you where we are at. That's the end of the road. Past that is just snow. I kept going past several snow thingies and um, jumping the ruts. <laughs> David loved it. He didn't know if I was gonna tip us. So that was fun. <laughs> so we didn't get stuck up here. Pretty river over there. It's very peaceful sounding. Not the beaches of Cabo. It's definitely not the beaches of Cabo, but we did see a beaver dam on the way up. So that was fun. And the ducks, they're just playing. Good to be back, huh? Yep, good to be back. Now, we gotta go get the trailer ready. Come up here, find a camping spot, and go camping. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Till next adventure, make today an adventure. Bye. Bye.